story very much of the last few weeks is this young woman here, Francine Nian-Saba from Burundi. Who has taken this event by storm and given the likes of Helena Beery there and Sifan Hassan and the established 5,000 metre runners, something to think about. She really has upset the apple cart in that regard. Women's 5,000 metres. 12 and a half laps of the track. The pace through the first kilometre in uh, 2.50. It's uh, Michelle Finn, the Irish uh, athlete, who will take them through that first kilometre, and then it'll be uh, Van Buskirk, the uh, Canadian, to pick up duties. And uh, we're looking at around 68 seconds per lap. And if we think back to uh, Paris uh, just, what, just under a week ago, Tim, and we saw the way Nian Saba found several gears, didn't she? Put under pressure in that 3,000 metres in the end by Tai with 200 to go and just uh, was able to kick away again. She really is building up a, a great body of work. No, absolutely. Nian Saba has been a revelation this year, an astonishing range. 155 through to that uh, fifth place in the Olympic 10,000 metres, Nian Saba. Where, uh, I think she shocked a lot of people with her, her run of 30-41. I mean, Sifan Hassan has run 156 and, of course, broke the world record earlier on this summer with a sub-30 uh, sub minute clocking for 10,000, although she only had the, the record for a couple of days. But that's a virtually world record pace, Chris. 68 per lap is 14-10 tempo. So this is uh, being laid down as a pretty aggressive uh, tempo to be maintained by one or two, maybe. Leon Saba, interestingly, at the front of the pack. Yeah, and this is only her fourth ever 5,000-metre race, if you include the disqualification from the heats in Tokyo, which uh, was uh, a little bit controversial. Felt she was not supported at all by her national federation from Burundi. She was uh, disqualified for a, a lane infringement, which means uh, stepping off the track. And Beery there with that uh, instantly recognisable rolling style, just tucking in behind uh, Nian Saba. But uh, in these very much on the upward tra trajectory. Women's 5,000 metres into the uh, second kilometre. I can tell you they went through the first in 2.51, so just outside, almost perfect pacemaking there from uh, Michelle Finn. Nian Saba in the orange vest there, just uh, tracking and being stalked by Helena Beery with uh, Margaret Kip Kemboy and then Eva Chirono. So Kenya slotting in behind uh, Nian Saba. Now we can see the tall figure as well of uh, Elish McCorgan just in the blue vest on the inside, still among the first six. Elish McCorgan, of course, the uh, the British record holder, beating Paula Radcliffe's long-standing record. There she is, looking pretty good. She's had a fine, fine season, has uh, Elish McCorgan. Failed to meet the final, though, in uh, Tokyo. She'll be disappointed with that, but came back to, to do well in the uh, 10,000 metres. So, uh, Nian Saba just... Uh, Clicking off these kilometres, Oberi perfectly placed where she likes to be with a, a little bit of a target. Tai. Well, there's an injection of pace here in the second kilometre because uh, they've gone through 2K in 5.43, well, well inside the desired pace. And Van Buskirk there put a, a real spurt in on that second kilometre. She's now departed. And so Francine Nian Saba takes us towards the halfway mark of this race. And she's got plenty of experience behind her. Worth reiterating, this is only her fourth 5,000-metre race. Her first full season as a distance runner, having uh, taken silver in the 800 metres, remember, behind uh, Casta Semenya in Rio five years ago. Not able to compete in her favoured event because of the DSD and testosterone regulation. So had a choice to make and decided to go up in distance. We saw how brilliant she was in the 3,000 metres in Paris last weekend, and here she is in the 5,000, and Helena Beery just stalking her there in second place. Yeah, so Beery, I think, will be quite happy for Nian Saba to take the tempo, and she just gestures then, Nian Saba, to Oberi, as if to say, come on, are you going to take a turn? I've had enough of this. Don't think she was really pushing it along. They're bunching, in fact, behind Nian Saba. She was saying to Abiri, look, you're the experienced athlete here. I think it's time you took a turn. And Abiri, somewhat to my surprise, Chris, I have to say, has obliged and moved to the fall. Although I don't think she's injected any pace. That's a tightly packed little bunch of, what, some 10 athletes. Yeah, maybe just slowed it down, but Abiri uh, loves to do this. Putting in a few surges, then slowing it down. So Abiri now 
and six laps to go. That's a 72 second lap, so they have slowed a fourth highest jumper in history. While approaching at three kilometers, and uh, Oberi there going through 3k in uh, 8.42. So still pretty decent. There is Grovdal who's uh, losing track with the uh, the leading group. So Oberi and Chirono, but Nian Saba still very much there. Looking very comfortable indeed, and it's uh, Chibet, Patrice Chibet, former world junior champion uh, at 18 years old, down in uh, in fourth place. So Kenya dominating, but Nian Saba, and the longer this race goes on, you wonder whether the uh, former 800 meter speed will come to come to be significant. Well, that was a very slow third kilometer, Chris, at 2:58. Indeed, the last three laps have been 71, 71, and 72, as you said, for all intents and purposes. So. They haven't picked it up mid-race, it has slowed dramatically. There was uh, talk of the pace being somewhere down around 14.10. Well, that's gone completely out the window, and we've got a pack of, what, two, four, six, eight, ten athletes away, but they're almost stumbling over each other. Ailish McColgan at the back of the group had a great run in Lausanne last week. Her second fastest ever, 3,000 metres, still in good form, and is probably her best distance when you look at how strong she is over 3,000, how strong she is at 10,000. This is probably her sweet spot. Well, looking very sweet for Nian Saba, who's just gone to the, the front again. That 10 minutes of running on the clock. The next four minutes or so will be very, very significant indeed. So Nian Saba now calling the tube. So approaching four kilometers, just over 1K to go. And the pace has slowed quite significantly. Nian Saba now just hugging the inside there, Obiri on her shoulder, Ailish McCorgan in that uh, leading group, these 10 well, well clear of the rest of the field as they approach uh, 4,000 metres, four kilometres. The longer this goes on, the more you would have to favour Nian Saba. Let's not ride off Obiri just yet, but 11.41, 2.59 for that latest kilometre. It has slowed, Obiri then on the shoulder, Nian Saba, and he's got his own crowd supporting him too. Latter stages then of this women's 5,000 metres. All the big names are still in there. Nian Saba, Obiri, Tai, and come into the uh, the home straight for the penultimate time. The Ethiopians in there, Elish McColgan with that long, lolloping style, instantly recognisable. And it really has slowed. He was pretty breezy, wasn't it, for the first kilometre or so into the home straight for the penultimate time. This is where all the jockeying for position will take place. Obiri there, nicely done just where she wants to be, but she'll be well aware that the athlete on her shoulder, on the inside, Nian Saba, is an 800-metre specialist as they hit the bell. Well, Costa Helfen just beginning to struggle at the back here. She doesn't have the raw speed to match Obiri and some of these others. What can the big name that we're expecting to do so much here, Nian Saba, do in this sort of situation, Chris? This has been a, an intensely tactical run. Well, Obiri there lights out, stretching the field. K Ken Boy in second place. The orange of Nian Saba there, starting to perhaps feel the pace here, grimacing a little bit. Tai left of picture, the Ethiopian. These four well, well clear. Obiri with that rocking style, she's so tenacious. Wheel dig deep, has several gears. K Ken Boy, Tai, remember, who puts Nian Saba under pressure in Paris over the shorter distance into the home straight. Obiri, these four well, well clear. Now then, look at Nian Saba coming wide. Tai makes a break. Obiri, has she gone? I think she has. Now comes here, Nian Saba. Nian Saba from late two coming through, timing her run to perfection. Oh, my word. 14.25, the winning time. She continues to impress, you know, over the longer distances, and she has beaten Helen Abiri, the two-time world champion over this distance, and further evidence that Francine Nian Saba is a force to be reckoned with once again. She breaks the national record. She's been doing that pretty much every time she steps out on the track. It looked as though perhaps she was struggling down the back straight with, what, 2.50 to go. She collected herself, composed herself and found another gear and she comes home ahead of Tai and Oberi in third. Boy, oh boy, the fourth fastest time in the world this year and there's plenty more in the tank, I think, from Neon Saba. It was a slowish tactical race and yet the 28-year-old there with this extraordinary range 
having won in Paris last week so impressively, becoming the fifth fastest in history at 3,000 metres with 8.19.08. Wins again here and makes the point. What might she have done in the 5,000 metres in Tokyo? Remember, she was fifth in the 10,000, but I suspect the 5,000 this distance tonight is her favoured distance now that she is a distance runner, not a lower range, middle distance runner. The transition in the space of... Uh, Less than two years has been quite astonishing. And you just wonder whether Casta Semenya somewhere, maybe in South Africa, watching on here, remember also a former 800-metre runner not able to compete at that distance, looking on with, I'm sure, some envy as she sees the new, the newly invented, reinvented Francine Nian Saba starting to really upset the, the world order in the 5,000 metres. I agree, Tim. I think 5,000 is her preferred distance, and uh, this will provide further evidence of uh, what might have been in Tokyo. She was disqualified, as we mentioned, in the heats, didn't make the final in the 5,000. Look at that, just sail past, and all that built up 800 meter speed coming to the fore in the final stages of that race. Nian Saba in only her fifth race over this distance coming through. Very, very impressive indeed in a new national record. Well, her lap up to 200 to go, Chris, was 59.7. So I suspect her last 600 was under 90 seconds. I mean, that.